Hi guys, welcome to the next video of the RESTful tutorial series. In this video, we will see various types of approaches which we can take to handle exception in RESTful web services. Now, these approaches are basically related to how to return the HTTP error codes and error messages to our web service clients if some exceptional scenarios are encountered in our web service. Now, let's check those approaches by a simple example. Suppose we have one web resource method get user info and that method takes user ID as parameter and returns a user object corresponding to that user ID. So let's try to code that first. Now this user ID here is coming from the URL query parameter. So let's extract it from the query parameter using the other red query param annotation. Okay, now let's make it a resource method. So put at the red get annotation here. Let's give it a path. I'm keeping the path as the method name itself. Okay, now let the resource method produce a plain text. Okay, now here what we are trying to say is that the resource method will produce a plain text but we are trying to return a user object from this method that will be wrapped around the response object. So that user object will be converted to a string by the message body writer class which we already saw in our previous video. So that message body writer class will extract the user object from the response object and then convert it to a string. Now suppose in this method we are getting user id as null or it is empty. In that case, we need to return some error code like 404 or error message like user not found to our client. Otherwise, we will create the user object and then return that in the response. Here we are going to deal with the exceptional scenario else we are going to return one hard coded user object. Okay, here we are going to return the error code using a response class like this. Now what we are doing here is we are returning error code as not found. So it will return 404 error code and then we are returning error message as user not found in the entity method. This is the first approach for handling the exceptional scenarios. Let's build the project and test it out. Now what I'll do, I'll use the firebug to test this uh, service as we can see the error code and the error message clearly in it. So let's hit this service URL for this get user info from the Firefox. Okay, just paste this 
like this and check what is coming okay so you can see that we are getting an error code as 404 and getting the error message as user not found since we have not passed anything in the user id query parameter so most of the cases this approach is going to work fine but this is not a convenient way of returning an http error code to the client every time we encounter a situation like this now in java we generally want to handle this kind of situation by throwing some exception instead of returning an error code like this okay now let's see how to do that now suppose in our case we would like to throw a user not found exception if the user is not found now JaxRS api has provided one exception class called web application exception so our exception class should extend from this web application exception class and override its get response method now in this get response method we need to return the http error code and the error message wrapped around the response object now let's try to create our user not found exception class first we'll create it in the same package Okay, now let's extend it from the web application exception class here. Okay, now let's override the get response method. Now here we need to return the response object containing the HTTP error code and the error message. So we'll just copy copy that line from here. We'll just return this. Change the message a bit. Not be found. Okay, so our exception class is ready. Let's modify our web service method. We'll just remove this. We'll throw our exception here. Okay, now when Jersey sees that an exception is thrown and it sees that the exception is a web application exception, then it calls its get response method and that's how our response object and the error message and the error code is returned back to a client. Let's test this out. Let's build the project. Okay, now hit the same URL once more. Okay, now you can see that we got this error message as user could not be found and we got the 404 error code as well. So this was the second approach of handling exception in RESTful web services. Now there is one more approach available by which we can map our exception class to the response object. Now sometimes due to some restriction we can't modify an existing ex exception class to extend from the web application exception. For example, if they are standard Java exception classes or if they are from some third party libraries, we cannot modify them to extend from the web application exception class. In that case, we cannot use this approach. So to deal with this kind of situation where we need to map a third party exception to a response object, an exception mapper provider class has been given. Now, in this case, we need to provide one mapper class like user not found exception mapper which will map the user not found exception class to the response object. Okay, let's create one user not found exception mapper class. Now 
this class should implement exception mapper interface exception mapper of user not found exception it has one method to response which we need to implement let's implement that method here first import the package Okay, in this to response method, the actual user not found exception object will be passed and we can use its reference to create our response object and finally return that response object. Okay, now let's modify the user not found exception class here. We'll remove this parent class. We'll actually extend from exception class. Remove these things. Okay, in this class, let's create two member variables to hold the error code and the error message. Let's generate the getters and setters. Now in the mapper class, get this error code and its message from the user not found exception class getter methods like this. We also need to annotate this class as a provider class with the other rate provider annotation. Now after this, we need to add this provider class to our application class. Okay, now, now once we add this in our application class, Jersey will be able to find this provider class and it will be able to use this functionality. Now our web service code is not going to change much. So whenever we throw an exception like this, Jersey tries to find an exception mapper provider class which maps this user not found exception to the response object. And it will find our user not found exception mapper class. And then it will call its to response method to get the response object which will contain the error code and the error message here. Okay, so this, this is the third approach of exception handling.